Hello everybody and welcome back to another video with the World Cup currently going on in soccer or football depending on where you are from in the world I thought t today would be a good day to make a video talking about hypothetical World Cup rosters for the Overwatch scene in 2022 now obviously uh, there was World Cups in the past um, but it's been a while uh, you know, it's been three years since the last World Cup in 2019, so it's been a very, very, very uh, long time where a lot of things have changed, and the scene is very, very different. And so I figured, you know what, today I want to do a video talking about potential World Cup rosters for 2022. So for this the video, I have made 11 World Cup rosters. I've made rosters using the 10 teams that qualified for the main event in 2019. Uh, so those teams are the United States, China, South Korea, France, Denmark, the Netherlands, Sweden, Russia, the UK, and Canada, plus a bonus 11th country that will be the last country here, who I won't spoil until I get to the end. And uh, my rules for this are pretty simple. The players that are going to be on this list uh, have to be active players from 2022. They have to have been active in 2022 uh, to be considered for this list, with one exception, which is if a country does not have enough active players to fulfill the roster, then I can find another player who, you know, was active in the past, you know, year or so, uh, or, you know, I can find a player to fit in there, but they will be marked and denoted uh, with their name in italics. If you see a player in italics, you know that they're a player who are uh, a retired player, a former player, uh, who I'm putting in uh, the spot because there were not currently active players. Now, I want to throw this out there as well. There's a very real possibility that there are players that are active that I don't know about. Uh, I looked through contenders, through open division, through um, even... Uh, collegiate just to try to find as many um, players as I could, but there is still the possibility that I missed players. So if there is a player from a country uh, that I missed that you think should have been on this list, let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear from you because I don't know every player in the world. Uh, there's a lot, and so I'd love to hear from you and kind of have other players uh, on this list. And... Uh, that's really it. Also, you'll see also stars next to some of the names. If they have a star next to their name, it just means that they were on a World Cup roster uh, previously. So that's all you really need to know. Without further ado, let's jump in and let's talk about the first country, which is the United States of America. And the roster that I have constructed for this team are Aspire and Speedily as the DPS, Reiner on tank, OG Ultraviolet on support, and Dante as the flex slash sub player. Every team is going to have a six-man roster. Um, the World Cup historically was, you know, seven players. You always had your starting six plus a sub from whatever role you wanted. Uh, so I decided to continue that, but with obviously five starting players and a sub. So there you go. Um, this is a pretty obvious team, I think. Uh, Aspire, Speedily, Reiner, OG Ultraviolet all played together on American Tornado. A lot of them are probably going to be playing together in the 2023 season of the Overwatch League, so no big surprises here. These are some of the most talented players in North America. And I opted to go with Dante for the uh, flex player for two reasons. One, he somehow has never been on a World Cup roster for the U.S., which is absurd and ridiculous. Uh, I thought he was going to make it in 2019, and I was surprised when he didn't. He absolutely deserves it. He also is a very flexible player, obviously. Historically, he's a DPS player, but of course, this past season, he played a lot of tank. And he played Junger Queen at a pretty high level, which is something that Reiner struggled with. So I like Dante there. He can fill in for DPS if you need him. He can also play tank. Um, so he's a very flexible player. Felt like a really good addition to this roster. This is a pretty solid roster. Obviously, a lot of really talented players here. Um, and I think uh, names that everyone here should be familiar with. So I don't think I need to explain much more about them. Let's move on to the next country, which is China. Of course, they finished second in the 2019 World Cup behind the United States. My China roster is on the DPS, Shy and Leave, with Jinmu as the flex player, so a third DPS player. 
Gaga on the tank roll, and Xerneas and Monk for the supports. Another team of really good players. Shy, Leave, Xerneas, Jinmu all have been on the World Cup uh, stage before. I think Leave was on the team in 2019 and then, for health reasons, couldn't play, but he still played in some of the other like qualifiers and stuff in the past. Um, so he's a little potentially not... Uh, you know, He may not have had the full stage experience, but I put him on here anyway because Lee's a really talented player who we've seen, you know, excel in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of really talented players, of course, uh, on this roster, all Overwatch League players. Tank was an interesting one. It was between Gaga and Gushue, um, but I opted to go for Gaga because I think Gaga is just a little bit more flexible. Um, if you're building a team for the World Cup, you want the most flexible players you can get. And to me, Gaga is just a little more flexible than Gushue, even though I think Gushue is an incredibly talented player who I think provides more flashy play on Winston and Reinhardt. Uh, I do think that Gaga, on the whole um, field of tank heroes, is just a little bit more flexible. And then Xerneas and Monk, two incredible support players. Um, I'm a huge Monk fan. I've been, I've been a big fan of him since he joined the Chengdu Hunters. And Xerneas, uh, when he joined the Guangzhou Charge, very good, very nice, uh, big fan of this roster so all solid here let's move on to the next roster which is of course south korea the big one um you know they've won three of the four world cups um with the 2019 world cup being the first time they did not win so let's look at the roster i constructed for them here which is on the dps lip and proper with profit in the flex role smurf as their tank and lee jagon as shu in the sport line None of these players have World Cup experience, which is just goes to show you how strong the South Korea scene is. Really good players here. Profit never being on it is honestly the biggest surprise because he's an incredible player. Um, lip proper profit, they cover everything. Those three are going to give you literally whatever heroes you need. No reason to worry there. Smurf, this past season, he was, in my opinion, the best tank in the league. Um, and definitely in terms of his overall flexibility. Lijigon and Shu. I debated doing Izayaki over Shu. I debated doing Chio and Fielder for that kind of synergy for the support line. But I just decided to go for, in my opinion, the two best at their roles. I think Lee is the best main support. I think Shu's the best flex support. So I did that at the end of the day because I just think this team would be awesome to watch. Imagine watching this team in the Overwatch League. Like, this is an incredible team. Watching this team in the Overwatch League would be wild and it would be awesome and something that I think would be one of the greatest Overwatch rosters of all time. Let's move on now to the country that finished fourth in the World Cup in 2019, and the first team that is going to have non-Overwatch League uh, representation on it, that is Team France. Uh, the roster I have constructed is Suna, Suyo, and Kaiser uh, on DPS, Ben Best on tank, and FD God and Zarian on support. Suna is a name a lot of you may recognize. Of course, he formerly played for the Vancouver Titans and the Paris Eternal in the Overwatch League. Uh, but most recently, he was in contenders on Team Peps and Falcons Esports. Hitscan player, uh, Tracer player, uh, that's kind of what he's known for. Suyo is a flex DPS player who uh, is on Team Peps. Very solid team. Uh, that is also where Ben Bess and FD God play. Two Overwatch League veterans as well. Really, really, really good a um, couple of players there. Ben Best, of course, played for the Paris Eternal. FD God played for the Shock and the Paris Eternal. Then in the flex support role, you have Zarian, flex support player, uh, who has played on Raspberry Racers and Team Peps. Uh, youngest player I have on here, he's only 17, but he's really the only French flex support I could find, and he's really talented, and I felt like it would be a disservice to not include him. And then with Kaiser, uh, they're also a flex DPS player. Uh, who most recently played for Ah uh, Yeah, a uh, European contenders team, and they're known for heroes like May and Sombra. So, not a really strong um, hit scan player on this roster, but incredibly talented DPS regardless. Um, ben Best, FD God, of course, really, really, really big names in the Overwatch scene. Really like this team as well, and uh, I think this team is one of the better looking teams that exists in the. Um, kind of world when you really look at a lot of the talent they have on this team up next is Denmark 
another team that I think has a lot of really awesome talent on it. You have in the DPS, Shockwave and Naga with Shax as the sub, Doge on the tank role, and Kellix and Slay on the support role. Lots of Overwatch League names on this roster, Shockwave and Naga uh, and Shax, all of whom had stints in the Overwatch League very recently, along with Doge, um, but a DPS trio that all of them have Overwatch League experience. Shockwave with Vancouver and Philadelphia, Naga with Paris, Shax with the Valiant and the London Spitfire, Doge on the tank roll, of course, most recently played with Houston Outlaws, Kellix has been around the scene forever, was on the Boston Uprising, was on the London Spitfire, um, it, more recently uh, on X Oblivion in uh, Contenders, where he is right now, his support buddy would be Slay, a flex support player from X Oblivion as well, so they already have kind of experience playing with each other, which always helps out, um, Naga, um, another one of those guys from the Team Peps roster, uh, so he's got a lot of experience, you know, that Team Peps team is a huge, huge, huge kind of wave of experience, uh, in terms of Overwatch experience and whatnot, uh, lots of really, really, really big names, uh, from Denmark that are really, really top-level talent, uh, that I would love to see kind of get to play together again, because I think this Denmark team, they played really, really well in 2019, I think they would play really well again in a new 2022 World Cup. Next is the Netherlands. This was one of the rosters where I could not find a full roster of currently active players. So if there are any that I missed, please let me know in the comments down below. But for the Netherlands roster, in the DPS, I have Tap and Jonah. Uh, Tap is currently active. He's a flex DPS player for Harrisburg University. Uh, Jonah is not currently active, but he was on the uh, team in 2019 for Team Netherlands. And he played for Young and Beautiful as well. Um, I think in 2020, he last played for them. Uh, in the tank role, I have Don, formerly the Paris Eternal, now on Munich Esports. And also the flex player for this roster is NKZ, uh, who is currently with 01 Esports, and he is an off-tank player. So he plays uh, the D.Va, the Zarya, the, the Sigma, the stuff that Don isn't as known for. So that's going to help you round out your roster. A lot of tank players coming out of the Netherlands these days. Not as many uh, DPS or support players, unfortunately. But it is a tank factory. I really had to pick between a good number of, of tank players uh, for the Nether ones, but those are the two that I settled on. Never the supports. You have ANJ, uh, who has uh, been playing for both Phoenix Esports and Raspberry Racers uh, recently. I believe Phoenix Esports is with the Saudi E Leagues, and Raspberry Racers is in EU Contenders. Uh, ANJ is a main support player. And for flex support, I picked Lucer or Lucer. Uh, flex support player, most recently played for Sheer Cold, has not played uh, since, I believe, early 2021, or maybe it was late 2021, I don't remember exactly. Uh, it's been over a year since Lucer played. There's some other players I was considering who have had some experience on Team Netherlands, uh, but I gave Lucer a shot because he wasn't someone who ever got a chance to play on Team Netherlands, and I figured that he had a lot of uh, pretty good accolades as well, uh, pretty similar career uh, as some of the other guys, so I threw him on here because I figured I'd give him at least a shout-out as someone who uh, was pretty uh, prominent uh, for the Netherlands in the contenders scene. Moving on to the next country on the list, it is Sweden, and there is a ton of talent on this roster. Starting with DPS, you have Sparker and Kevster, two Overwatch League veterans, uh, and Cage, who is the flex player for this team. Uh, most recently played for Sheer Cold, a hitscan DPS player. Really nice way to round out this roster with just a really talented DPS trio. In the tank role, you have Lulsish, um, formerly of, of course, the Washington Justice, though we never actually saw any stage time for the team, uh, but more recently playing for Young and Beautiful. He was on this roster back in 2019, as was Gustav, this team's main support, who is currently playing with 01 Esports. Uh, and then you have Hampa, I assume something like that is how you pronounce it. Uh, who is a flex support, who is currently playing for Aw oh, Yeah. So another really awesome roster, some really talented players, some really talented pieces. I think this would be a really awesome Team Sweden with a ton of really big firepower up at the top, uh, and then some really solid pieces um, kind of holding the team up in the tank line and in the supports. So another really cool, fun team here. 
Moving on to the next country, we have Russia. Some good players from Russia. Um, though another region where I found it a little bit harder to find a full amount of players, but I did manage to find all but one spot here. So with the DPS here, we have Alexei, uh, who plays for Raspberry Racers. He was a former tank player. He only recently, I think, moved over to DPS. Um, plays a lot of Sojourn, so definitely a little bit of a weak point on this roster in terms of just depth uh, of the country is DPS for Russia. Obviously, historically, of Shadowburn, uh, who I did put on this roster, uh, who most recently played for the Paris Eternal, obviously played for the Philadelphia Fusion as well. Um, not a ton of talent I could find there, so definitely if there's some Russian players that you know about that I did not mention, please let me know, because this is a country that I think has had a lot of really big names um, historically, uh, but right now I couldn't find many. But one that I could find, who I know is very highly rated, is Chow, I think that's how it's pronounced. Correct me if I'm wrong. He is an off-tank player, uh, currently playing with Raspberry Racers. He is one of the highest rated players coming out of European contenders, and even just generally speaking between uh, North American and European contenders, one of the highest rated players that has not gotten a chance to get into the Overwatch League. Such an incredibly talented player who definitely deserves a shot in the Overwatch League. And of course, a veteran of the scene. Then for the support line, you have T-Sorcerer, Andreko, and Grayson X. Uh, T-Sorcerer actually recently retired from uh, Aw Yeah, but he is still uh, very recent that that happened, so I figured I'd still give him a shout. Main support player. And then you have Andreko, who um, has been playing for Twisted Minds and Chimera Esports, who's a flex support player. And then Grayson X, um, who plays for Aw Yeah as a support. Um... I don't really know what he plays. Um, I haven't really been able to find any information. Uh, there's no Twitter or Liquipedia page. So someone who is out there is from Russia, but I don't know anything about. Um, so I put them on here because uh, they're from Russia. Uh, let's put them in the flex spot because I don't really know what they play, but they are out there and they are a player who has been in the contender scene, at least very recently, with Aw oh, Yeah. Moving on to... Team UK, the United Kingdom. This is a, another pretty solid roster with a lot of history, a lot of depth to its roster. So in the DPS line, you have Kai and Backbone. Kai, of course, most recently playing with the Atlanta Rain and Backbone with the London Spitfire. And you round out that trio with the Holy Pig, one of my favorite names in contenders, uh, who is uh, currently with Shoes Money Crew EU. Um, and recently was on L9 Overwatch. Um, they're a flex DPS player, so they're going to play stuff like Echo, Tracer, and Genji. So some overlap with Backbone, but just a nice addition to have there uh, just in case. Then in the tank role, Jkaru19, who has uh, been playing with O1 Esports and GK Esports, I think is the name of it. Um, O1 Esports, Saudi team. So Saudi E-Leagues, I believe, is why he's on that roster right now. Uh, he's a main tank player. Uh, who you may know as someone who played on that Fusion University roster with Poco and Shockwave uh, and EQO uh, back in the uh, 2021 season. Um, Funny Astro was on the roster as well uh, when those players were stuck in Europe and they just kind of put together rosters so they could all have them together on a team. Speaking of Funny Astro, he is also the main support for this roster, of course. Um, one of the best main supports in the league right now. And in the flex support role, I have Abik or Abhik. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly. Who also a one esports, GK esports. Uh, so playing alongside Jake Carter 19 in recent uh, stuff. Pretty solid roster here. A lot of really talented players on this team. Uh, the UK has always been a little uh, underwhelming, except for the 2018 run when they were able to beat the US. They struggled a bit in 2019, but I think with this roster, this roster would be absolutely incredible. And it'll be one of the you know, most dominant DPS lines you could have. Um, I think this team would be incredible in a 2022 World Cup. And the final of the 10 teams from the 2019 World Cup, uh, top 10, I have Canada. So this Canada roster will be a lot of newcomers to the World Cup. The DPS line, I have Seeker and Noxious. Um... Seeker, of course, most recently played with the Boston Uprising, but he's currently a free agent. 
Noxious is a hitscan player who is with Altiora right now. I don't know a ton about Noxious. There's not a ton of information out there, but uh, a player who is uh, currently in the contenders scene. For the off tank, I chose Icy, uh, who is an off tank player for Pirates and Pajamas. This is a tough one because there are quite a few tanks from Canada. Of course, False is currently active, um, was with the Vancouver Titans this past season. I wasn't super impressed by his play uh, in the Overwatch League. He didn't get a ton of play time uh, over Mirror. Uh, so I went with Icy because I actually have been a pretty big uh, fan of Icy over the past year or so. And I figured he'd be a nice player to give a shout out to um, as someone who's been in contenders for a little bit. And I think that he's uh, a good player. And so I put him on this roster. Then a support line, you have Zalik, who's a main support uh, for Pirates and Pajamas. And then I put Crimzo, of course, most recently the Boston Uprising, the only player on this team with World Cup experience. And then for the flex player, I have Magic Mateball, uh, who is another fantastic name, who plays for Riz Academy and was recently on Altiora, and they are a main support player. So a lot of kind of players like Zalik and Icy who've been around for a long time in contenders, um, names that I recognize. Um, you, know, you got some Overwatch League veterans and Seeker and Crimzo and, and some also some younger players like Noxious. Um, so pretty interesting roster here. It could be a, a fun one to watch. Canada has a pretty long history of doing well in the World Cup. 2019 was definitely a disappointing year for them, but uh, in, in previous World Cups, they were you know they got second in 2017. They did pretty well in 2018. Then they got third in 2018. So very good team from there. And for the final country I want to talk about, it's a country who I've mentioned a few times here and there uh, in this video. It is Saudi Arabia, a country that has been doing a lot of great things in the Overwatch scene over the past several years. They've had two players make it into the Overwatch League, um, but they're a region that just has not really been as represented uh, in a lot of the kind of big Overwatch League tournaments and even the big, like, you know, they were in the World Cup in 2019 as one of like the teams that had to play through like that long qualification thing where like most of the games weren't even streamed um, and they weren't particularly successful but I think right now we look at Saudi Arabia they're a team with a ton of really talented players a really talented country a really talented region that it just I think was getting it getting started in 2019 and really in 2020 and 2021 and 2022 we've really seen Saudi Arabia really kind of rise up be one of the better teams uh, or better countries in the Overwatch scene. So I wanted to give them a little love and shout out some of the really good players coming out of Saudi Arabia. So for the DPS uh, trio for Saudi Arabia, I have Quartz, Yubi, and Goku. Quartz and Yubi play together on 01 Esports. Quartz would be the hitscan DPS. Yubi would be the flex DPS. Yubi, another one of those really highly rated players, one of the kind of best players that has yet to make it into the Overwatch League from the contenders scene. Uh, the European slash NA contender scene. Really good player there. And then Goku, another flex DPS player, stuff like Fara, Echo, and Hanzo. So really good kind of trio there. Play a lot of things. Goku most recently or currently with uh, GK Esports. KSA, tank player. A lot of you may recognize him. He was on the Vancouver Titans in 2020. Uh, and he is currently playing with X Oblivion in... Uh, EU contenders. I also believe he is on a team in the Saudi E League right now, but I don't remember exactly which team it is. Um, it might be Nobles, but I don't remember exactly uh, what team it is. But I think it's Nobles in the Saudi E League. Very talented player. I loved watching him play in 2020. He was one of my favorite players to watch on that Titans roster. I think he was really, really good and a really solid piece. And I'd love to see him return uh, to the big stage for a major Overwatch tournament. And for the support line, I have Nutella, who is a main support player for Twisted Minds. And of course, I have Sir Majed, who was uh, most recently with the Florida Mayhem as a flex support player. So fun kind of exercise here. Some, some cool players, some awesome uh, teams potentially. I'll throw just a full list if you want to see all of the uh, teams just up on screen together just to refresh your memory or whatever. Um, you can see all of the teams here. Um, and if you like this video and want more like it in the future, maybe more countries that I did not do in this video, let me know. Um, I could consider 
doing some more depending on what you uh, want. And uh, yeah, maybe there's more of these in the future. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if there is a player that I did not mention that you think I should have talked about, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear from you. But that is all for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider liking and subscribing as those do help uh, out a bunch with the channel if you enjoy. And hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy. And until next time. Bye-bye.